Oh, the big, big decision to do PhD in India or to do PhD abroad. I already made a video on this, but I made my personal opinion, my personal opinion video. But this time the opinion is a little different. It is not my only my personal opinion. Along with me, I have another person who has done his master's from Germany and now doing PhD in UCSF USA. So they know better. They know the situation better. They know the current situation. And based on that, we are going to discuss about uh, the biggest fight uh, between these two, whether to do PhD in India or to do PhD abroad, outside India, any country, it could be not in India. So what is good for you? Although there are personal preferences out there, but India is underrated in terms of research and also USA is overrated in terms of research. And that is why there are many myths out there. Now we need to clear the myths. Obviously, we are not going to talk about something to be channelized, but we are going to talk about uh, logically step-by-step -step process regarding the research opportunity and quality that you'll get, the stipend that will be offered, the work-life balance that you have, the living uh, scenario there, and the future application and future prospect of your career based on all these five parameters. How exactly is it better to stay in India or is it better to get out of India to do your PhD? That is something that we are going to figure out in this particular video and uh, you are going to get this idea from this video and believe me this video is going to be an eye opener for you so yeah in the in the city in the core areas uh, there are no issues but generally in outskirts there might be due to the order of people living there yeah okay good, good okay so yeah all these answers are cleared at this moment and uh, i have uh, one last thing to talk about and that is uh, doing phd in india and Given the current situation, uh, what do you recommend uh, for the upcoming generation of students to do PhD in India or to do PhD outside India? Although there are multiple factors to it, you know there are people who uh, needed to stay in India at, at the hook or crook. They need to stay in India. They need to do anything in India because of several different reasons that they have. So beyond that, personal uh, reasons a person may have. Apart like apart from that, uh, what would be a uh, informed uh, decision to take as a MSc student or uh, a student who is watching this video are in uh, MSc second third fourth semester uh, what would be an informed decision if everything is okay if they can leave India uh, what would be the like uh, what should be an informed decision to do to stay in India do the PhD and finish it here and then try to do postdoc outside of India or to move out of India uh, to do PhD uh, abroad. What do you think? First thing I would say that PhD in India is not bad. There, it is not bad. There are some places, there are some labs which are bad. There are some universities which are bad. So let's say I'll give an example. If someone gets into TIFR Bombay, NCBS Bangalore, IFC Bangalore, these are like top universities called let's say IIT Bombay and someone gets in let's say XYZ University of Reno or something other in US, I would tell those people to choose TIFR Bangalore, NCBS Bangalore because that's a most reputed university. So PhD in India is not bad. PhD in India shouldn't be treated as bad because that's that's when people start thinking like any university I get in abroad is going to be good. That's not the case. That's not the case. When you look into PhD, you need to check again the price checklist, the research, the exposure that you're getting. Because I know a lot of my senior who are from uh, like PIFR, who are from NCBS, who are from IIT Roorkee, who are from IIT Bombay, they do they're doing excellent and they are they are holding a position in US after doing postdocs in US. So PhD in India is not bad. Only thing. In India, when you are thinking of PhD, think also from the perspective of lab, like do a little bit research from your side because there are some labs which are like which tends to make people work very long. They don't have the work life balance. So you should you should avoid that. You should avoid that. So as one of the major problem in uh, PhD, like I would say society of India is that there is no one or no higher authority to check this you know in us if i report someone is like you know not giving me salary or not giving me anything that professors will be like uh, will be given a warning that you can't do this with the students so you know i think lack of that 
in the PhD society of India is creating a lot of problem. Graduate students have no one to go other than their PI. And what if their PI turns out to be not helpful mentally, mentally or anything? Also, that's one of the one of the more major thing I would say. So, when you are in a situation, when you are in a MSc position, and you are thinking that whether you are apply, you want to apply for PhD abroad or PhD in India, I would say do. It might sound a little stupid, but I would say apply to both. Because why I would say, uh, when I was in bachelor's and I was applying for masters, I when I prepared for Indian university, so I gave TIFR, TIFR, and IIT jam. I got into TIFR Bombay, and that preparation helped me to crack two different universities in MS, like for my masters, which is same same preparation. Even when you are applying for PhD. You should apply to TIFR and you should apply to other places because when you face those interviews, at you will get that experience and you will have that choice in your hand. Let's say you don't get into a X Y Z of your famous university that you are targeting, you have an option to apply to NCBS Bangalore, NCB TIFR Bangalore. So there are like lot of these good things that you need to keep in mind. So very specifically, if you are thinking of PhD in India, think about the lab. Think about the labs. Select each and every lab as an individual, and then think about it. And then think that okay, what are these labs? Is this lab good versus lab environment good? And due to social media, it's very easy to do because you directly uh, go to LinkedIn, you directly go to Facebook, you directly go to Twitter, and like ask about the people. So that's the that's the main thing. So because exposure on more or less like if you are in a good lab in India. You have a lot of collaboration. You have a lot of exposure. You have a lot of things. Uh, so there is no hard and fast rule that a broad PhD will be good. It's is a lab that will take into consideration. Even Harvard may not have the best lab. Even even Stanford may not have the best lab. Even your best lab could be in India. That's possible because it's research. It's not about the university. University is not going to pay. University is not going to. Yeah, university adds a factor. But if you are not equipped as a researcher, you can't continue in future. So, build, you building as a researcher is more important. So, it should be lab specific rather than university specific. Pointed out probably the most important, uh, most important statement here uh, at this moment. That while selecting for the lab, like right now, what I feel is that this new generation that coming in, uh, tons of students are passing out from uh, the life sciences, biological sciences background every single year. Uh, and uh, what they see us and uk as a brand what they see them uh, to go there as a brand value and not only them but their parents their their uh, the, the, their family members their relatives they also can stand and tell that my my son or daughter is doing phd or postdoc there their xyz places and they say the names but the point that you made uh, made here is the most important the reason behind it is that what you are what you about to do in phd you are you are about to do research work you're not going to be a part of a university to learn something right so if i say stanford if i say uh, how hhmi if i say other institutes like we are not talking to take a course uh, from those universities you are doing a research work so research work is a altogether different game and if it, if that is the game then we have good research uh, work environment in india as well we also have that outside of india as well and uh, the the better uh you need to decide which one is better for you which one is more suited for you and you can do that i always tell my students when they you know, after they qualify csn and they come to me like which lab i should join i have two two three labs shortlisted all at the interviews i've cleared in three labs which lab i go i always tell them uh, the most important thing is not about the topic that you do research in in india the most important thing would be the lab that you will be doing the research because there uh, you will be spending your time let's say in india five years six years seven years eight years I, I know people who are doing even a nine years in IIS Bangalore, but ultimately it's the lab where you are doing doing your job. Uh, the environment that is there. I know people, my student itself, uh, who left a PhD after three years, and the whole time uh, of like they are mentally broken uh, after that. So it's very important to select the lab uh, rather than you know you don't need to rush it up. If somebody rush it up in selection of a good lab, good uh, research environment, then you'll be slapped hard in that moment. It doesn't matter whether it's in India or it's outside of India, and that is the hard truth. That is the harsh truth right now. As you mentioned, that Harvard's lab may not be good for you. Harvard may not be good for you. Your a lab may be in your city. 
is more suited to you you need to find it out and you have all the options to find it out these days you have linkedin you can directly contact uh, to the authority you have a uh, twitter to directly ask thousands of people the question when they have done their phd you can talk to them meet them uh, telephone them and or video call them to get to know about their behavior the, the way they want to work with you if it is uh, according to your plan you can select it and you are going to get benefit ultimately so that is the most important take here so phd in india is not bad but bad. again selecting a, a lab which is not good in india or in abroad will slap you harder so that is uh, the take home message uh, that you, that anyone should take and we have already summed it up uh, regarding how to do phd in european country, countries in us the life work life balance Uh, the racism uh, uh, part of it and as well as the salary part of it and the future plans of it as well so uh, because you know i i conducted poll i conduct poll time to time in my uh, youtube and uh, the recent poll is uh, regarding this just before this conversation of ours because we are planning it for a month uh, for a week i believe one one and a half week uh, so i put the poll to to uh, know my audience's uh, reaction regarding it so there is a vote near i think near about 7000 7500 to 8000 votes are out there and uh, the vote uh, was what do you think like do you want to do phd in india or in abroad and the third option was i don't know i don't want to do phd the option that i got is uh, you know it's little different that i expected what i got is that uh, most of the people wanted to do phd in india uh, till now still okay there are approximately uh, i think 30 to 20 to 25% people are saying that they are going to do it outside of india and 70% said that they don't want to do phd at all and rest 42 or something percent said that they want to do phd in india till this moment uh, based on uh, the 8000 vote that i got so that gives a mindset that you know even in india if you have the choices if you have a uh, better work like you know your country very well you know uh, you, what to do what not to do how the things work in it right so if you anticipate that from before and find a suitable lab for you i think uh, it is suitable for you as well right but uh, even after phd uh, post doc part as you mentioned earlier as well for post doc it's always better to get outside of india and do the post doc and that's what we are seeing uh, in the in the statistics as well like most of the people they do their post doc outside india they don't do it inside india outside of india and as you mentioned also that there are some labs in india who are at par in terms of technology with uh, the us and uh, european countries so i want to take this uh, one more question i want to ask from this part only that uh, what will be the you know uh, like the names of indian universities and institutes particularly uh, so in us and uk uh, when you say tifr or when you say iisc when you say iicb or isr like what are some universities name you can say uh, which is familiar to them uh, some list some name uh, that you have in your mind right now in us or uk they know the name they know that if somebody is coming from these places so they are going to be good in my lab Uh, so i can talk to them and they can good uh, add a good value addition to my to my lab as well so uh, any list in your mind yeah so like iit people know and not only uh, institute they also even know lab name so i will give you a, like open example like in iit kanpur there is one lab arun dr arun shukla's lab on gpcr his lab is like world famous that people know him like by name like you're from arun shukla's lab okay you are you are very good So like IIT is just one of the name, IISC, TIFR, of course, these are the some of the names. People have started to know about ISERs as well across like there are a lot of ISER people. Like people also started to know about ISER. So these are like some of the other names. Also, state university, like uh, I would say, definitely say University of Hyderabad is coming up a lot. Like Jadavpur University, like especially in the field of chemistry, Jadavpur University is like a lot of people are from because. A lot of people who are doing post jobs and PhDs in uh, in uh, US are from chemistry background have some links to Jadavpur University. So professors are also getting uh, like familiar with these names as well. So it's 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 being like there. It's like people know about it. People know about the labs. People and people do respect like US people do respect uh, students coming from India because they know how much hard work and how much. a uh, multi faceted multi faceted personality we develop when we do a phd in india because you handle your research you handle your work life balance you handle your lab 
things which is a like unique unique uh, advantage that you have even if you do masters or ba- uh, bachelors from india that gives you that unique advantage to adapt in any place so i think that's one of the thing uh, even professors in us and europe respect about indian students that they can adapt easily uh, so yeah so uh, enough said i told you that this video is going to be eye opener for you so there are myths destroyed right so at this moment you you might be thinking that whether india is good or not so i recently conducted the poll and the result of the poll is a really really inspiring i have added the result in here you can see this in this result you can see that the people still want to do phd in india because still it is reasonable for them to stay in india close to their parents close to their friends but again due to some reason people can get out of india but again uh this is the poll this is the story 8000 votes are not matter of joke but yes this is something that we are getting in and it's depending upon your personal situation whether you choose india or abroad but you need to know the scenario of india and phd condi- conditions and conditions of phd outside of india based on that it's your decision but wherever it is in india or outside india the most important and critical step is the selection of the lab from where you are going to do the phd in because if you choose a wrong lab USA cannot save you and if you select a right lab USA uh, India can be best place to do PhD so again uh, it's your decision but all the informations are clear if you have any query you can ask the query in the comment section and also the details to contact Vivash is there in this description of the video you can contact him and he'll help you to understand the scenario much much better way okay so i believe this video helps you out if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye